Since 1-0 United, it's been, we've been struggling with this game, but, you know, Hayley Ladd was pulled back in the area, and it was a penalty. Katie Zellum, captain, steps up, 1-0. Come on, the Reds. She's got a score! She's got a score! She's got a score! She's got a score! One of our own! Kenzie Zellert! She's one of our own! 3 0 United! Captain Gold steps up! Rips in! Kenzie Zellert! Come on, the Reds! Let's go! Hi guys, Natalie here, 3-0 versus Tottenham. I knew this game would be tough, but to be fair, it's come out with the same result that we've had a lot of times against Tottenham. First half, it was 0-0, um, nil -nil, I think, you know, went into it. We, we had chances, but there was nothing that I thought stood out that I thought, apart from probably Jackie at the start, she could have got a goal today, but just keeping calm, keeping composed, being clinical, and then... Um, Katie steps up, first goal, 1-0, penalty. Hayley Ladd pulled back in the box and your captain, that's what you want her to step up and score them goals. And then it was a corner in, Jess Sigsworth's in the middle and she gets her header and taps it in. You know, this is what we've been crying out for, I've been saying it here on a lot. You know, playing Jess down the middle, that's her best position. And when she went in there, there's movement. When Hanson comes on, there's movement. These girls have played in the championship majority of their playing career. And you can tell they are Reds. They can tell how much it means. So when they're hurrying and fighting, that's what you want to see. I mean, it wasn't the best performance. I've seen the girls play a lot better than this. But that's all you want, three points. Much improved performance from what we've seen recently. You know, I thought even in the first half, or some of our build-up play was really good. It was just that, you know, the final ball wasn't quite there. Mm. But I, once we got that opening goal, you know, that really helped. And I think, you know, getting the scoreline like this, the performance like this, will really boost our confidence, taking us into the upcoming games. What do you think then has been the difference between this performance and, say, the Bristol or even Brighton one performances? I think... <sighs> I don't know whether it's just lack of confidence or, you know, teams have figured us out a bit with what we've said about the team not changing much or... You know, I think it also hasn't helped that we've hardly played in the last few weeks. You know, before Brighton midweek, we'd only played once in about five and a half weeks and, you know, you can't get any momentum going. But hopefully now... You know, we've got that run of games. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, there'll be no more postponements, so we can get the momentum going. And as I say, I think a result and a performance like this will will definitely help kick us. Like you said, games are coming thick and fast, and are not easy games. Not simple games. It's City in the cup, Chelsea in the Conti Cup, Reading away. What are you expecting from those three games? I mean, they're all going to be incredibly tough games. Mm. You know, that all three of them are, are quality sides. I know Chelsea are going to be missing a couple of players f for their game against us, but, you know, they've got so many options, particularly up top, that, you know, they can cope. Uh, Reading, we know all about them. And, of course, City a City. And, of course, you know, with Nick Cushing leaving, they're going to have an even bigger incentive mm. to want to give him a good send-off. Anthony, 3-0, big improvement, three points. How does it feel? It feels amazing as always. Obviously, Bristol City game last time out was disappointing. Certainly a learning curve for the, the girls. And uh, you could all see how upset Casey was through that. And uh, she wouldn't want that to happen again. And uh, first half performance, we had plenty of the ball. Uh, didn't really have many chances to of such. Uh, Mary kept us in with a, a save that was, you'd yeah. think it was simple, but it was one of them ones where she had to stretch and keep yeah. it out. Uh, second half, we got we got the penalty. Mm -hmm. I, I wasn't sure what, what what it was given for, but... Uh, it was a push and a pullback on Hayley, lad. Pullback. Oh, OK. So that was good. Yeah. Zellum converted convincingly, which is good. She's mixed her penalties up this year, which is uh, great. And then, the problem sometimes with United, because they have the ball so much in the attacking third, they switch off. And luckily, Mary Earps yeah. got us out of jail a couple of times today. When we were one nil up, 
I think it was 1 0 and they had a chance. It, it was, was Rihanna Dean through, yeah, wasn't it? And yeah. does, it went over Abby's head, and you know, she was one on one really, but yeah. Mary put that pressure on her. Do you think that's the difference? Maybe having, like, I mean, Chevy was always an international, but yeah. having an assured, you know, week in, week out playing for England, international in gold, she, she does put that pressure. Oh, yeah, definitely. No, I would agree with you. Yeah, she definitely kept a couple of good saves. Uh, Siggy worked hard today, I think. Mm. Uh, if I had to pick a player of the match, it would probably be Siggy. Mm. Do you want to see more of her starting games? Oh, definitely Siggy, yeah. You know you're always going to get 110% with Siggy. And uh, I'd like to see her up top. Yeah, through the middle. Through the middle and Hanson on the wing. I think Hanson's, I think Hanson's probably better out wide than Siggy. And I reckon Siggy... Siggy's clinical, so and that's yeah. what we need at the moment. Well, I think. she's got a goal, so we're all happy. Yeah. Thanks a lot, no Anthony. Worries. Thank you. Thanks. Cheers. I'm here, Fallon. I'm here with Tegan. Tiggy. <laughs> what do you think of that today, then? Oh, a fantastic performance of all the girls. Played really, really well, but we agree we're still near. The referee didn't obviously mm. take advantage of us, and he was quite biased, yeah. in my words. Yeah. I mean, Tiggy, what did you think? Well, we played really well, and like, I don't think that referee was right because that red card was yeah. there was no reason. Yeah. I mean, potentially we've heard that. Yeah. I've heard that she might have kicked out at the player on the floor, but it's like you say, frustration. He was giving a lot to them, but then giving those cards, letting them away with it. And they got yellow, and we got red. That doesn't. It's not yeah. fair. Yeah, I agree with you. You know, the refs could be a lot better in this league. But obviously now we've got we've got three big games coming up. We've got City here, Chelsea here. What's your thoughts on these up and coming games? Well, United can do it. We've got faith in our girls, especially the squad we've got at the moment, smashing it. And Tiggy, what do you think? Well, we've done it once, so there's no reason we can't do it again. City, yeah. yeah. And who do you say then is your player of the match today? I say Millie Turner. Millie, really? she's come back from in, well a little knock and she's done well. Yeah, definitely. But captain done well as well. Yeah, she. Yeah. Is. Brilliant. I thought she was going to get a hat trick at one point. Yes. Same. But Tick. all well. Good, great team. Yeah. Player of the match? I think Millie as well, but also Leah did good. Leah, my favourite player. <laughs> Love you, Leah. Come on, Leah. Whoa. Whoa. Super Whoa. Leah Gold said. Whoa. Super Leah Gold said. Whoa. She never gives the ball away. Thank you. All right, guys, me, Deborah. Deborah, it's improvement. Got three points. What's your overall thoughts on the game? My worry was that I couldn't see where the goal was coming, yet once we got the goal, maybe slightly fortuitously, yeah, we looked like we could go on and on. But I think we needed something just to get us a goal, get us some kind of breakthrough. I didn't see what the penalty was given for. A couple of people around me said they thought it was this, that and the other. Whatever it was given for, it just gave us a bit of a freedom. Slightly worryingly, though, we've not scored from open play. Today. today, yeah. I, I shouldn't complain. We've won three 0 We'd have taken that. Um, we'd have taken that certainly against Bristol, but um, it's hopefully going to get us a bit of momentum going, yeah. and we desperately need that. And I mean, I know you're saying we didn't score from open play today, but we we have now scored from a corner. That's something that we were the only team that haven't. Obviously, when you saw that cross go in, just put it in. What's your thoughts? Yeah, it, it seemed to. I don't think it was a clean one. I think it might have hit somebody else on the way through. So whether that, I don't think that was the intention, but. I mean, look, we can sit here and analyse all the goals, all the mm. passages of play. End result is 3-0. We left their place, we won 3-0, and Karen, their manager, Karen Hill, said, oh, no, it wasn't a fair reflection of the game. Yeah, she's right, we should have won 10-0 on the balance yeah. of play. That was more likely a 3-0. Um, we were the better team, we created. They did have the chances, but, um, look, it, the results, it's a results business, and thankfully we've got a, result, we've got a, got a good win. Obviously, it's some hard games coming up now. City's here next on Saturday. Feelings and thoughts ahead of it? What, what do you want to see? I don't want us to get to a point where we have to prioritise one competition over the other, but I think the league we need to focus on at the moment. So I'm, I'm not as concerned about that game as perhaps I was the Conti Cup game earlier in the season. Um, obviously, I don't want to lose it. It's City. But there's going to be squad rotation we've got some big games coming up certainly the next four or five are really really big important games um, hopefully they can just carry on improving though but City are playing well at the moment as well and obviously um, uh, last question for you Deb who do you think the player of the match is? just been having this conversation uh, a few debates but um, just for the fact she got two goals I'll give it to Katie